Are you a northerner wondering about the winters in Charleston? So in this video, I'm going to go over uh, my experience of living in the Charleston area for almost 10 years and what the winters have been like. And stay tuned until the end because I'm going to go over our family's favorite things to do in the winter in Charleston and also the winter we had here when we had a very big snow and a lot of ice. My name is Jennifer Cosman. I'm the dog realtor here in the Charleston, South Carolina area. And I have, I'm a former teacher and a mom and I'm originally from Ohio. So I'm hoping this video can give you some insight in what it will be like when you live down here in the winter in Charleston, South Carolina. So today I am here at Charlestown Landing, a historical site here in Charleston, South Carolina. And it is uh, almost December and it's almost 54 degrees. It's about 11 o'clock a.m. I'm usually extra cold, so I have on my winter jacket, but typically you don't need a winter jacket um, here in the winters, um, just so it gives you an idea of what the week will be like. So this week um, for the highs, which it gets to, you know, in the afternoon time between like 12 and two or in the 60s for the week. And then in the, at the nighttime, it can get down into the 30s. Last night, the low was 34 degrees. So you don't need a ton of gloves or hats or things like that unless you're going to be um, going to the mountains of North Carolina for like that. Typically, you're not going to have snow or uh, very cold weather here in Charleston. So coming from Ohio and having grown up in Ohio, the winters down here are so much shorter. So typically, our winters do not start until November or even December. We can have 70 or 80 degree weather all winter. Um, typically the coldest months are January and February, but we still don't have much snow. So just to give you an idea of when you can expect spring after the winter season here, it's typically mid-February. So all the azaleas and lots of the local flowers, they start growing and blooming in February. So winter time, really only January, February. I know for my kids, because they can't wear winter coats for more than a year, I typically do not get them these kind of thick winter coats. Usually a hoodie is fine for the cooler mornings uh, when they're going to school. So definitely completely different than winters up north. Very short and very easy to handle. You can still get outside, you can still ride bikes, you can still walk, and we still have a ton of sun. One of the best things about the winters here is that uh, all of the sunshine that really helps with the daylight savings time when that changes and you have the shorter daylight. So as promised, I'm going to go ahead and share three of our family favorite things to do in the winter here in Charleston. Um, so one, like I talked about, is continuing to be able to be outside and walking and riding bikes on the trails. Um, the second one is we enjoy ice skating at the Ice Palace here in Charleston. It's an indoor skating rink and they also have ice hockey. If you have um, children that are interested in playing hockey, you can also do that there. And they also do figure skating training at the Ice Palace. Um, another fun thing that is very different from up north is Instead of sled riding, since we typically do not have snow, is at Wanamaker County Park in North Charleston. Um, they have a very large hill and it looks like a good sled riding hill, but there's no snow. So the kids will take um, cardboard boxes and flatten them out and then they will ride them down the hill. I know my son loved to do this when we first moved to the area and something fun since you don't get to experience the snow very often here. Um, also, another thing that is fun to do is to explore the area beaches. Because it's not tourist season, the beaches are so not crowded and you can really explore and have fun, except if it's very windy, it's always colder at the beach. So keep that in mind. We didn't know that at first when we moved here. And we went to the beach and it was like 10 degrees colder plus the wind. So definitely a great time to explore the beaches, but it is always colder at the beaches in the winter time with the wind from the water. So let's talk snow. 
the last time it had snowed before we moved here, it had been 30 years. So we had gone to Ohio to visit family and we didn't have any snow. And I know the kids that year, they were so upset because they look forward to seeing the snow in Ohio. We got back from Ohio and we actually had a huge blizzard here. So everything shut down, even the restaurant shut down. We tried to go to Olive Garden and everything was closed. Um, there was no milk, no water bottles. It was very crazy they don't even have the snow plows and snow trucks to come and clear the roads so the schools were closed for a long time and the roads continued to be icy until it warmed up enough for them to melt um, my kids even got to yeah make snowballs they got to go sled riding and but that was uh i think it was like 2016 2015 and so they say it probably won't happen again for a while it's very rare so don't expect to experience snow here in Charleston. So I just wanted to say thank you for watching. I hope you learned a little bit about what the winters would be like here in Charleston if you're moving to the area. My name is Jennifer Cosman. I'm the dog realtor with Realty One Group Coastal. If you have any questions on buying or selling or if you'd like to check out uh, area houses or neighborhoods, please let me know, uh, text, call, or email. Thank you so much.